In this video, we're going to see how we can add infinite scrolling to our web application. So currently in our web app, it loads everything all at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to only have the first four looks loaded. And as we scroll down, more looks will get loaded into the view. So in order to do that, we're going to be using the ng infinite scroll, which you can find here and also their GitHub found right here. So I've already included the ng infinite scroll in the project files and you can find it in the bower.js right here. And the one thing that we do need to do is add it to our app.js file. And you can also find the bower component added to our index.html file. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our infinite scroll feature to our main app.js file. Okay, so that's all that we needed to add infinite scroll. In this course, I'm only going to be adding the infinite scrolling feature to our main.html file. But you can pretty much just copy over the code if you wanted to add it to your my looks page or to later we'll be doing an admin page. So in our main folder, we're going to open up our HTML file and our controller file. Controller and HTML. So the first thing that we'll want to do that's actually already added is we'll have this ng show to display loading data if we're in the process of loading more looks. And what we're going to be editing is this Angular Grid container div class right here. And the attributes that we'll be adding, you can, again, you can find in the documentation. So we'll be using some of these parameters, infinite scroll, infinite scroll disabled, as well as the infinite scroll distance. So these are all optional parameters and we'll be adding these into our angular grid div right here. So the first one is next page and you can see it's a function. So we're going to call next page every time the user has scrolled close to the bottom. We're going to disable infinite scroll on busy or when there's no more data. And we're going to set the distance of when we want infinite scroll to trigger. So this is a number between zero and one. So we're basically saying once we get very close to the bottom, we want infinite scrolling to trigger and load more looks into the page. And you can certainly play around with different settings on this one. So now that's actually all that we need to add to our HTML file. So we'll save that. Now we can load up our main controller file and we'll go ahead and declare some variables for our infinite scrolling towards the top here. We'll initialize busy and we'll set it to true. All data is going to basically replace our looks array. So page will indicate on what page we're on. So we'll keep on adding pages until all the looks have been displayed. And we'll use that by using an incrementer. So it'll be plus page plus plus. Step will reference the amount of looks that we want loaded at a time. So we're setting it initially to four. You could try something else. You could try three or whatever other number that you want. That's the number of looks that it's going to be initially loaded and loaded every time that we get close to the bottom and trigger infinite scrolling. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to edit our get all looks method. So instead of just displaying all of our looks initially, we're going to add new looks to the page based on what we defined within our infinite scrolling setup. So we'll first off use our all data variable 
This is going to be data dot data just like above. We're going to call scope dot next page. And now we're going to create our next page function and this is where the magic happens. We'll create a variable to hold the total number of looks that we have. We'll make sure that next page isn't being called if busy is set to true. We'll set busy to true within our next page. In this variable, we're going to keep on adding to our looks array each set of looks that we've defined within our infinite scrolling setup. So this will be the page that we're on times our step. Our page initially is set to zero and our step is set to four. And we're going to make sure to increment our page. And we'll set up an if statement if we have exhausted all of the looks that we've retrieved from our database. So this can be a little tricky logic to follow. It was for me at least. And it took me a, a little bit of trial and error in order to actually get this to work. Uh, but this, this should work for us. And again, all that we're doing is we're taking the number of looks that we've defined in step and adding it to our page. So our page keeps on getting incremented until we've exhausted all the looks that we've retrieved from our DB. So after saving that and killing and restarting our server, so the one thing is you want to make sure that you have a large number of looks already submitted to your web app. So I had to adjust mine down. So I set my step to three, so it'll show three. And then when I scroll down, we'll see three more get loaded. 